Hello my fellow automation engineers and of course my friends and welcome to a special automation and beam ng special build video. So lately as you all know it's Ramadan and we are feasting so I, I really didn't have much time to of course to uh, record something to you guys I apologize but I was working on these vehicles that you are seeing right now and uh, the inspiration that came behind all of these vehicles is a 2019 van that I've seen online, which is the Voxel Vivaro, 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 something like this. I want to create something similar to it because the, that van looks absolutely amazing. I'm not really, I'm not really sure if you guys like it or not, but I like the front of it, the modern headlights, the the front grill, everything, and I wanted to create something similar to it, as you can see, something very, very close to it when it comes to headlights, grills, and of course front front fixtures side fixtures and even rear fixtures or you know the rear is not really 100% closed but I tried my best and also I want to recreate something because of course as we all know automation developers are working on the on the campaign on the on you know creating your own uh, you know uh, car brand and you want to create your own cars and selling them and make profits and all that nonsense and I want to recreate you know you know starting starting to you know sharpen my skills when it comes to creating something affordable and something that will that will actually bring profits to the to the cut the imaginary company that, that i'm gonna that, I, that i'm gonna be creating and of course an automation game so i i present to you and yes this is a funny name because yes, I've, I've chosen a funny name for this van because this van and i present to you this is the doodoo -doo. i'm not kidding it's called the doodoo -doo, d-o-d-o that's the name of it as you can see behind this van and i made uh, as you can see five individual versions each each version is different from the other of course uh, i wanted to enjoy this video because i'm going to be talking specs showing you the engine showing you everything and then i'm going to test them in on beam ng drive so it's not, not going to be a short video it's going to be a little bit long video so let's enjoy it together and let's enjoy the doo doo Alright, starting of course with the base version, which is this one. This is the base turbo version because this doodoo here, the white one, is the base, uh, you know, van for uh, putting cargo in the back. Not, not this is not a passenger van. This is a, uh, you know, a, a utility van, a van that you want to put cargo in the back that you want to use every day for your company, for your construction working company, and wherever, wherever usage this, you can use this van with so this is a very very awesome and basic van this thing is using a 2.2 liter inline 5 engine with of course a turbo and this thing can do 51.7 miles to the gallon or i, I think 51.8 something like this so this is a very 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 uh, efficient van very very fuel efficient van and the inspiration also came from that voxel vivero as i've mentioned before because the voxel vivero is using i don't know a 1.6 or a 2 liter diesel engine that can go 49 all the way to 57 mpg and as we all know diesel engines are much more efficient than a petrol engine and i want to go as close as possible to that van and of course to make it more powerful more comfortable and more affordable because the uh, the voxel vivero cost around 19,000 uh, pounds you know british pound uh, and if you want to, if you translate that to saudi arabian real that that translates to nine, 92 93,000 reals which is I mean, a little bit expensive but it's it's within range for, for a 2019 vehicle and i want to create something cheaper than it, uh, cheaper than that Vivero. And as you can see, this basic van here, this basic version cost around 86,000 reals or in, in, in United States dollars, you can say $22,000. So it's cheaper than the Voxel Vivero. So this is the base version. It's producing 200 and, I don't know, 220, 210 horsepower, something like this, 210 pound-feet of torque. So it's really good. Uh, it's really efficient, it has manual gearbox, it's uh, front-wheel drive, uh, transverse engine placement, it's really, really, really good. And let's see, now this is the base version. The other version, which is of course the the uh, the passenger version, so that, that for the, white, the white one is the 
you know the working the workman or the workhorse this is a people mover the same the same the same shape as you can see but it's still basic basic rims the same basic engine the same gearbox the same everything but this thing can uh, can see let's see three in the back three in the middle and two at the front that means eight all right so this thing can seat eight person that's really good i think it's still making around uh, 47 mpg because of course adding those seats adds more weight of course on the vehicle which makes it a little bit heavier but it's still a very very awesome van to, to drive even and as you can see it works perfectly not only as a not only as a for example as a taxi or as a uh, or as a van for a, you know to try to transport employees it, it can also work for as a school bus as a small compact and safe school bus as you can see which is really cool it's not really a bus it's a van but it works the same purpose now the next version that i want to show you is the mark one because uh, before i created all of those amazing versions there was this basic and the mark one doo-doo as you can see this thing had a different engine from those car from those other vans and this thing had all-wheel drive and it was very very cool very very awesome and fast to drive but it was more expensive than the vivero that's why i ditched it and i went with the other versions now let me show you with some other version which is of course this one this is the the turbo 5r as we as you have seen i made two basic versions for commuter for you know for for work and the other one for passengers and this one is for racing racing purpose what i did is i kept the same 2.2 liter uh, inline 5 engine uh, I, I've, choose, I've chosen racing parts on it, bigger turbo, bigger injectors, and individual throttle bodies. I'm using 100 octane fuel, higher compression ratio, more ignition, and uh, let's see, and yes, and a straight through exhaust, uh, exhaust system. And that thing is producing 420 horsepower, which is absolutely amazing. This thing is all wheel drive, uses sequential gearbox, so it's a proper racing van which is really really awesome and really interesting to see how it will drive and the last version is the ultimate version which is this one this is the ultimate doo-doo yes i know it sounds funny yes this is the ultimate doo-doo it has a different engine this thing has a three liter inline six with 610 horsepower yes my friend 610 horsepower it's still all wheel drive still sequential gearbox and yes my friends this is the uh, doo-doo six turbo r the ultimate version as you as, as you will be seeing and testing in a bit all right so first let's test the base version you know as a, let me show you the baseline or oh, no no let's first let's test the mark one let me show you what or what was the inspiration you know the mark one the, the thing that started all all right my friends now i'm going to be testing the mark one of course on the full automation test track and then after it I'm going to be testing all the other versions and then you need to pick your favorite one. I would love if you can pick your favorite version of all of these doo-doos in the comment section below. I would love if you can tell me which one did you actually like the best. All right, so let's start with the basic one or sorry, the Mark 1. This is the Mark 1. This thing, this thing is using a this thing is using a 2.5 liter inline 5 turbo. It's all-wheel drive. And someone has sent me a message on my phone. Anyway, as you can see, this thing acts like a real van. It's not really what you call sporty, but it drives really nice. This thing is using a, 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 a vicious limited slip differential. As you can see, manual gearbox, all wheel drive, hard long life tires. This thing can do around 45 mpg. So as you can see, it does, it does a little bit understeer, it does a little bit oversteer. So it's all over the place and it's really fun. This thing can take 1510 of uh, load capacity. So you can fill it, fill, it, fill it up really, really nicely. The engine is really torquey, it's really powerful, around uh, 275 horsepower. This is the Mark 1. Yep, as you can see, it drifts really nicely. As you can see, I'm timing everything to see how I'm going to perform. And yes, I know I went wide. 
I should have went on the apex, but this thing is not really, it's not really very cool grippy. I mean, hard long life tires. So I need to pay attention to the brakes. I'm using basic brakes. Wow. What I really love about the Mark 1 Doodoo and all the other, well, the basic Doodoo's are the gearbox, the gearbox ratios. Because uh, I've been driving lately a, an Isuzu, an Isuzu D-Max, uh, which is a diesel pickup truck. And what I really love about diesel trucks is the um, the gear ratios or you know the gearbox because the first gear is just useless if you want to drive normally with an empty bed. And you, ha you have to you have to you know start with second gear always, always, which was really interesting. And I tried to replicate the same here because in automation game, if you want to sell a nice van, you need to replicate the same thing with the gearbox. So yeah, you need to start basically with second gear all the time if you want to drive it empty. As you can see, we did 2 minutes 38. I mean, very, very similar to what I've seen in automation game. Maybe in automation game, it's more cleaner because I mean, the driver over there is just a simulation. This is real driving. So as you can see, the Mark 1 performed as I did expect. 2 minutes 38, really, really good. Not bad at all as a van. But remember, this is all wheel drive and this was the Mark 1. And uh, now let's go and test the basic one, the base uh, one with, of course, you know, the work, the workman horse. Or let's see. All right, my friends. Now this is the base one, the base version of the doodoo, of course. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same. Some some bits are different from the Mark One, like a uh, different, a little bit different door handles, uh, the rear sliding door, the fuel filler cap. Uh, some badging things, some aerodynamical things are different, and of course the rims are different from the Mark One. All right, let now let's test this one. Now this is a little bit less powerful, a little bit less everything because it's basic, it's cheap, it's affordable, and it can do 51.7 or 0.8 mpg. All right. like 70 horsepower less so yeah we will be seeing a slower time but by how much and this thing is using open differential front wheel drive open differential so it's not the best handling thing at all if you push the throttle really hard you will spin a single tire and basically you will lose all the grip and yes also the brakes are not really not really what you call good you know, when you compare it to a car, the brakes are not that brilliant, but to a van with a high central gravity, as you can see, I consider it really nice. And I've been having so much fun with it. I've tested I've tested this thing on automation game and on BMH Drive many, many times. Really, really awesome. I mean, right now I'm driving it seriously, but when you want to have fun, when you want to you know, I want to use the handbrake, drift it, have fun with it. It's really fun. But look at that. It can go 170. It can go 200 easily. And it can go more if it's downhill. Look at that. Drift on its own without any help. The engine is really running really smooth really reliable, the engine is super reliable, and everything is just affordable, the whole thing is affordable. In automation game, this thing cost around 21,900 I think, or 22,000 exactly, so it's really affordable. Of course the basic version is using a basic interior, basic infotainment system. Even basic safety. This thing is using ABS and the traction control system. No, no, no electronic stability control. But I'm using on all the versions, on all of them, uh, electric uh, power steering, not hydraulic. Cost the same, and basically it will make everything lighter, better, more reliable. Then why not? Yep, as you can see, yes, the, the Mark 1 is faster, but let's see by how much. Yep, 
two minutes mm -hmm. 45 mm -hmm. yes it's a basic it's a basic fan i i mean it's as you can see it did what i what, what i did what i expected from it and yes of course the mark one is much much better i mean look at that difference in seven seconds faster 7.8 seconds faster that's that's a significant amount of time all right now let's go and test the passenger one see how the extra weight will actually make it maybe it will be maybe it will be much grippier maybe it will be slower who knows let's see i mean of course it's gonna be slower but by how much all right now this is the passenger uh, version uh, the same engine the same gearbox the same absolutely everything from the base one but this has extra two benches back there instead of a, an open space so let's see how these two benches will actually you know how 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 will the, how will the extra weight handle here we go Feels like I'm driving a school bus, you know, the yellow, the glasses and everything. Wow, it's actually, I mean, the extra weight made it more stable. I mean, it still spins the front single left tire because it's an open differential, but the extra weight actually made it more stable. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, it's made it it's extra stable. Oh, the, and the brakes are suffering from the extra weight, but look at that. The torque is really good by this engine. The turbo is not really pushing that much boost. I mean, it's only 8 PSI, so the engine is really, really happy. And I'm using uh, the air fuel ratio is 15, so the engine is running on the least amount of fuel possible. 15 is the air fuel ratio. Does that mean the, en the engine is just receiving you know a tiny tiny bit of fuel to run and it's running perfectly that's pretty good wow look at the extra weight downhill look at that it's faster because downhill with the extra weight it's like falling off a cliff can you imagine this being faster than the base version come on, come on. grip there's not much grip Again, running wide. And the name, the name actually, the inspiration behind the name was, I've been, I've been playing with, with my brother, Grand Theft Auto Online, and as, as many of you know, there is a funny aer aeroplane in, in Grand Theft Auto 5, or, you know, the online version is called the Doodoo, -doo, and the inspiration for the name also came from there. Because that aeroplane is really rubbish, it's heavy, it's slow, it doesn't really handle that well. So it's pretty much similar to this. The only difference is the plane can fly, this is on, on the road. Alright, let's see. So far so good. Wow, can you imagine this being faster than the base version? With extra two benches. Uh, no, I, I really don't think this is, this is going to be slower. So, 1.8 seconds slower, as you can see. Or 1 second, no, no, 1 second exactly slower. Wow, so adding those two benches will add an extra second. That, that's really not bad. Wow. I was expecting it to be even more slower. But this thing performed really, really, uh, really, really nicely, especially on the straight line because of the extra weight and downhill. Yeah. Really, really awesome. All right, so now let's go and test the awesome R version, the racing version, starting, of course, with the uh, the Turbo 5R, which has the same engine from the base versions, but, of course, it's, it's more of a racing version of the basic one. All right, so let's move on. All right, my friends, listen to that. Listen to that racing beautiful inline 5. Yep, the same 2.2-liter engine, but bigger turbo, New, new, new exhaust system, new intake system, new injectors, new tune for the engine, new internals, higher compression ratio, and uh, of course, ultimate 100 octane fuel, you know, to help everything along. All right, as you can see, everything is really good. The only thing that I forgot to add is flames, you know, popping and banging from the exhaust. 
yeah i mean i can add pop up pop up you know pops and bangs from the exhaust i think i will do that maybe after the video and maybe i share some pictures on my discord of course the link in the description below so let's see how this thing will actually perform of course it's all-wheel drive and sequential gearbox and as you have seen beam ng got updated wow high central of gravity listen to this sequential whining yep sequential gearbox whine Obviously, this van is oh my goodness! Wow, it's a higher center of gravity. I need to be really, really careful with it. And this is the slow version, not the ultimate version. Sixteen, wow! Racing parts all the way. Look at look at the difference. Of course, that that that, that thing was a basic thing, rolly, comfortable, somehow e economical. But this thing is just a hardcore attack attacking monster. Wow! And this is not the ultimate version. This is the let's say the Turbo Five R, which which has the same five cylinder from the previous basic versions. But now, and we are going to test the ultimate Dudu. With ha which of course has a three liter, a three liter inline six turbo. All right, let's see. Would you listen to that? All right, so as you can hear, this thing is really, really loud. So I'm gonna say everything right now before I start driving because of course when I start driving you will never hear anything because of the engine. So 620, 610 horsepower, 400 and something pound feet of torque. Uh, this thing is a three liter inline six turbo, has all wheel drive, sequential gearbox, and it's lighter than the previous turbo five. It's much more beefier and of course it should be more powerful. And uh, sorry, it should be more fast. So let's see.
Wow. Wow, check out the difference. 2 minutes 7.320. That's a massive difference. Look at that. More than more than 9 seconds difference. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. I mean, what a difference between the basic versions all the way to the ultimate version. Of course, this thing this thing is a little bit a lot different from the base ones different engine different gearbox basically different everything except the chassis is still basically the same uh, the, the the body it's still the same materials everything is still the same when it comes to you know to the basic the basic the basic things of this vehicle because you can't really change them in automation game when you make another variant of the same vehicle yeah so everything basically is still the same the same chassis the same body the same suspension design the same uh, engine placement up absolutely all the other th all these things cannot be changed but the engine is different and everything else is different so that's pretty much it my friend as you can see we have tested all the amazing cars let's see which one of those uh, five versions was your favorite in the comment section below really really awesome work let me let me shut down this engine because it's really really loud all right so as you can see this is the ultimate version i really hope that you enjoyed this video i would love if you can just hit that thumbs up we hit it pretty hard get subscribed share the video if you want to share it and of course tell me again in the comment section which one of those five versions was your absolutely favorite one and if you want to download all of those five versions all of them are available right now on my patreon page the link in the description below and if you want to chat with me if you want to request a video if you want to request something the link in the description below for my discord page you can chat with me personally you can of course uh, request a video you can uh, you can talk with everyone over there if you want to participate in a challenge or something it's really really fun over there everyone is just an automation and vmg fan over there if you really really love the channel if you want to support me and support the channel you can of course purchase a t-shirt or an apron or something on, on the bn shop and of course you can watch the previous videos over here and of course, you can get subscribed over here. And I will see you very, very soon. And goodbye for now, my friends.